Hi, I just wanted to share a short video about something that happened to us a couple of days ago that was uh, kind of scary. <laughs> and we were driving down to uh, a local fountain kind of area where we go to fill up our bottles of water sometimes in a village close to where we were staying in the Cantanied area. It's actually a village called Bolio and it has a fountain called Freixal and it has like this little dirt road that goes into the woods and you know and there's the, the fountain it's actually really nice. Unfortunately it tends to be a place where people abandon dogs you know puppies we've even seen puppies there left out in the woods which is you know really sad but anyway we were just driving through the village just just about to go into the the take the road the dirt road that goes towards the font and we noticed and it was really he raining very heavily we noticed on the right side of the road there was a small piece of land and there was this goat just there in the pouring rain and he was tied up staring out to the road and he looked so miserable and I'm I'm an animal sensitive so I can feel animals thoughts and emotions and this little goat was not happy at all so anyway we got the water we came back we were hoping not to see him there again but sure enough there he was and we stopped the car to look and I wanted to actually just make a short video of him and you know because I thought we, maybe we should report this so we stopped the car and then we noticed there was actually another goat just a little bit further up on the, the little hilly area but this original goat was standing on some corrugated roofing that was on the ground and he was tied up against a tree or something and he was just almost unable to even stand properly I mean it was just so tragic and so as I was filming briefly we noticed the owner was out there and he saw us and and I said to him you know you shouldn't leave your animals out here in this weather you know I mean the goat's tied up there like that he doesn't have any, anywhere to move um, and he said oh I was going to put them in and he kind of laughed you know and I knew he was just lying and um, so I said well you wouldn't like to be tied up out here in the in the elements would you and he laughed you know but then he saw that I was um, filming and he got really angry and he started threatening us and he had a hammer in his hand because he was working outside or something and he started threatening us and saying don't film don't film don't take pictures and I said well why not you know and uh, anyway he got very defensive and he threatened to smash our windshield and so we just managed to get a little clip of him you know of the little goat because he didn't want us to film the goats he because he knew we were going to report him and so anyway we did drive off because he kept threatening us and we called the police and at first i think they for some reason thought that i was talking about a dog that was tied up outside and then uh so they you know the police officer said it you know was asking questions where is it was the address so we actually had to go back and film the exact address and the guy in the meantime had taken the goats away because he was scared and so we got the address call the police back and once they found out that it wasn't a dog it was a goat two goats they said oh that doesn't matter goats and sheep and horses and that they can be outside this doesn't matter they're fine we thought you were talking about a dog and i said well what difference does it make you know the animals need shelter it doesn't matter if it's goats doesn't matter if it's sheep they need somewhere to go they need to have access under trees or just somewhere where they can go and they should not be tied up in the elements and just left there on a short rope with nowhere to go you know and nowhere to even stand this poor thing couldn't even stand so but anyway I could see nothing was gonna happen so they basically didn't do anything so this is just uh, another part of Portugal it's not just Portugal obviously but Portugal has this side to it you know where really things do need to change and animal welfare uh, needs to you know really vastly improve in this country so that was just something we thought we'd post and we don't want to dwell too much 
on the negative things but at the same time this is an important thing to to address we feel so anyway and just to add to that thing about how animals are treated here when Bab and I came here we've been here for about three years now helping my parents out my dad because he's been very ill and that's actually the reason the only reason we came to Portugal was that and um, when we came here we you know we met these five stray kitties that were living in a village that we often drove past you know on the way to the shops from their village and so we had been feeding these kitties for um you know, probably about i don't know it's been probably about two years we fed them and um you know they're feral they're feral cats and some nice people were also giving them food and and so they were always hanging out around this little you know this area there was like a little abandoned property um with a uh fig tree and they would hang out under the fig tree and they weren't hurting anyone um they were just there you know they weren't getting in anyone's way and so we would often go drive up by there and put food out for them and they were always there just kind of sunbathing and just hanging out together and at one point one of them even had kittens and uh kittens started to disappear one by one you know and um eventually one by one they started to to show up dead and um somebody close by a guy close by said that um this was common in that area they what was happening was that someone was going there and poisoning them and he said that at some point there had been a few more uh, about 10 or something altogether and he said that uh, somebody was coming along and poisoning them and so these five kitties one by one we would just find them dead and uh, including the kittens and at one point there were only about three of them left and we went there to give them food and we saw one of them dead you know right beside the bowls and um the food bowls and so we knew they'd been poisoned and so the guy even said the old man that lived in the area he said he said yeah he said i know who it is and she even goes to church you know so that's kind of the reality that's the hard reality and if we what we had intended originally was to catch them and try and uh and sterilize them you know but it's something that we never even got a chance to do because they were just you know killed off one by one so rest in peace little ones but that's just another very very sad reality and all too common thing that happens here in portugal where uh, I think partly it's a generational thing, but not necessarily. I think there are also some young people in the villages that still do that. They actually put poison out for the stray cats and dogs. So, anyway, that's it for this rather heavy side of Portugal that I'm mentioning here. We're not going to try and talk too much more about it, but I did want to touch on it after what happened today.